Hi guys, good morning. How are you? Welcome to DIY Crafts with Dar. Today we're going to make a cute little patriotic angel. Oh my goodness. Um having trouble going live. <laughs> I'm surprised I am live now, but um yeah, some some days it's just a struggle. Yes, and I couldn't find my transfer. I'm opening a new one. So I <laughs> I will have two of these. I couldn't find my little star transfer either. So um, we're going to open a new one. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I, I need this anyways. I, I'm going to make a door round at some point. I was going to do that today. And then this little girl just hopped on the table. <laughs> How is everybody? Happy Wednesday. We are going to use our... Midnight, we haven't used that yet. We're gonna use Midnight's Paint With and Saucy. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a little Patriotic Angel. She's super cute. She's holding a heart with a star on it. And then her wings are gonna have stars on it. I'm just gonna cut this off. Um, stars are kind of big to go on here. I wish we had a little um, star, like a pattern. You know how some, we used to have like the little polka dots and sometimes we'd have um, little flowers. I wish we had one that had little stars. That would be, uh, we probably do somewhere. <laughs> so anyways, this is off of this transfer. So which, what's the name of this transfer? Um, Land That I Love, maybe? Uh, Land of the Free. Okay, so we'll do a door hanger with that. I saw the cutest thing with the, with the, with the eagle. Who saw that? Um, they did it kind of American Indian. Um, what do I want to say? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Southwest style. Southwest style with the eagle on there. And it was really cool. So um, I think I want to try to duplicate that. And sometimes ideas are just so great you have to copy because you're like, wow, I want to do exactly like that. So maybe we'll do that later this week. It was in Designer Studios. If you guys saw that, it was amazing. So how is everybody? Happy, happy Wednesday. We're halfway through our week. I set up for a craft show on um, Saturday, so I'm kind of scrambling to get more things made. And the girls and I have decided that um, we're going to start taking Fridays off of doing processing orders. And um, maybe not this week. <laughs> we, we're going to start it soon. And next week I won't be here. But we want to start um, just painting stuff on, on Fridays. Just take the day off and just paint, paint, paint. Get ready for the fall shows. We have so many shows coming up in the fall that I'm going to need lots of painted stuff. Lots of snowmen and scarecrows and, and Santas and all of those really cute little things. So... Um, we're going to do that. We're going to take Fridays off starting soon. Maybe, maybe we'll start this week, but we're really caught up with, with orders. Wedding orders, um, come through every single day. You know, the, the wedding business is always crazy. You never know. Sometimes you have brides that are like, can I have it by Friday? And it's Monday. And you're like, um, yeah, but where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice for you to plan. So let me see, make sure I'm live. If you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay so that I know that you were here. And let me turn my volume down. <laughs> and I am working on the invoices from the sale. I did get them logged into my spreadsheet. So I have that. Um, you guys know it always takes me some time to do that. And then I did have other things going on. Um, had our graduation for my grandson yesterday. So that was a lot of fun. And um, it's funny because you know, his, his dad graduated from that same school. His, his auntie graduated from that same school. His cousin graduated from that same school. I am not getting Facebook comments today. But it shows that I'm live. Um, let me look on my phone. It's not hooking up to Switcher Studios. I'll just go off my phone. Okay, so let me just let me just say how. Yeah, it's just um, it was not wanting to work. I'm just grateful I'm live and I didn't have to go straight from Facebook. So um, I'll just I'll look off my phone, but I can't. Oh, guys, I can't scroll all the way to to the top. Okay, there it is. I have to hold it. Um, good morning, Vicky. How are you? Hi, Carol. Hi, Julie. Um, hi, Darlene Hunger. 
actually noticed that you were live this oh god that's good yay um that's great you got to notice because um it wasn't wanting to let me go live <laughs> hi shelly hi karen hi hi pam hi marcia hi sarah um tony you missed the notification yeah you know what it just is that way um facebook can be that way right <laughs> oh hi eunice hi hi shauna how are you guys happy Wednesday. We are halfway through our week and we're going to do a cute little angel. So I, yeah, I, I need to, I need to do, there's a few chocolate tour transfers that I didn't do yet. Um, you know, we're getting up to where our, our launch is going to be coming soon. <laughs> not, not this Friday, but the next Friday, we're going to be able to see the new stuff. We kind of got a sneak peek of a few things. I'll post them later. Um, you know, I always look at them and I and I try to envision what I'm going to make with them. So some of them I can envision stuff right away. Others I'm like, hmm, I'm going to have to think about that. But I am so excited that the um, that the the cow. <laughs> I'm so excited for the cow coming up. <laughs> I'm having a hard day. Okay, um, I struggled to go live. I'm struggling to get words out. It's okay. Let's just paint. Let's just paint this cute little thing. <laughs> So we have this little angel here. Yeah, some days are just that way. Some days, right? So here's our, our cute little angel. She'll have a bow on her collar. Let me turn her around. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. It just is. So hi, Carol. How are you? Hi, Liz. Thanks for watching, guys. If you are not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. I'm going to just turn her around. So she has little wings at the back. I do have my glue gun plugged in, right? Yeah. Okay. So it will help me when I go to glue it. Her hair is at the back. So so she has two pieces of hair. Um, she has hair behind her. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'll make it a little bit different. And then she has this bow right here and she has her little bangs. Okay. So the bow goes to the side because the bangs are like straight down. And the top of her face, she has a collar. She has her little outfit here that's going to be painted with our... Um, midnight and then what's gonna be I totally lost my my cheat sheet there it is the heart the heart and the headband and the stripes on the sockies are going to be with saucy and then we're gonna have um, we're gonna do light buttermilk instead of white yeah light buttermilk instead of white on the wings and the, the socks and then black for the eyes. I'm not. I'm not so sold on cactus for the, for the cheeks. I can't. I don't know what happened to my. Where's my other pink? I think I want a lighter pink than that. You know, actually, that'll probably work. That'll probably work. Yellow for for the hair. Let's see. Um, marigold. We're gonna do like a bright yellow for the hair. And then um, deep okra for the star. Okay. So hands, hands and face are warm beige. I'll try to tell you as I go along. Okay. So I will work on that, um, as I go along and then wire at the top. Okay. I'm going to use the stars on, on here, on her wings, stars on her wings. They're kind of big. If you have smaller stars, use them. <laughs> I just can't, um, this, this doesn't work. Cause I was like, Oh, that would work. No. Cause it's the reverse. It's the reverse. So, um, if you're asking questions, I'm going to try to catch them. I, I'm not getting comments on Switcher Studios. I am lucky that I am able to do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Let me just go in a little bit. So um, it was a struggle being able to go live. It was. It was a struggle. So we have a birdhouse coming up. We're going to do a birdhouse to match all our sunflower stuff. I'm so excited about that. That's going to be fun. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Diana. I can see you're watching. Hi, Linda. At least with my phone, I can see who's watching. I go, hey. Hey, just say hello. Um, it helps. It helps me a lot. Okay, there's spacers under here, under the hand part. Let's bring our board up. Let's move her. Put her wings right here. I'm so excited for my craft show. Just, you know, it's sad though. Okay, I love my craft shows because I love my people. I, I love my customers. <laughs> See you, ma'am. I might have to sneak away for a few hours um, and actually work it because I'm supposed to work eight hours at it. And my, um, my person that's working it, she moved. <laughs> so, so I don't have anybody to help me with my, with my craft show. I'm going to scooch this over. Um, yeah, I have nobody. So, ooh. guys, I don't know how I did this, but I made it smaller here. Probably because I put the, I put the cure tray. We're going to move that up so we don't knock it off. 
I put the tear tray there. Um, oh, you hear my trash truck out there? I hope we got our trash out. I didn't put it out, but hubby usually does. <laughs> I'm always hopeful because you know what? We have so much trash. We have a lot from when we do our our laser stuff. We just we just end up with a ton of of wood scraps. So if we miss a week, we are in we are in trouble. <laughs> Apple crate, yes, I'll be at Apple crate. I will be at Apple crate. So um, my stuff will be there. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be mainly. It will be just finished goods because I don't have my I don't have my worker to work my booth, <laughs> and that's okay. You know what? Um, it's life is that way. So I I have my um I have my chalk con going on for the chalkathon or chalk 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 con convention going on. So that's my priority. <laughs> I know it's a little crazy right sometimes you have things you have like a bunch of things that just go all together and and hubby has his fishing it's just a lot a lot's going on this weekend <laughs> next weekend too <laughs> next next weekend um is when everything really is going on but yeah it's kind of crazy it's a little crazy hi Bridget how are you oh you had a bad night I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. Tony just got notified. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Um, you're bending there too. Oh, yay, Sylvia. That's awesome. Very good. I'm so happy. I get to see you. Um, I get to set up, because my booth is one of the larger booths, I get to set up early, which means I get to set up on Saturday because she wants us out of the way. So I will be there Saturday setting up, and then I'll probably come back. I, you know, I don't know which days. Um, everybody else is setting up. Oops. Did you see that? See, that's what I'm afraid of. I need to scooch things over. <laughs> it jumped. My paint jumped off the side. I was afraid that my chalk paste would do that. Okay. So light buttermilk for the wings and light buttermilk for the, for this part here, for, for the collar and then the, the sockies. Okay. So let's do that. I know I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have a ton of finished goods. I'm really excited for that. Excited to be able to um, get a lot of my Americana out. But here's what happens, guys. Uh, all my stuff behind me, all my cute Americana stuff behind me will go to my craft show. All my cute um, cow, pig, chicken stuff that's in my entryway will go to my craft show. Because that's what Darlene does. I strip my house <laughs> when it's time for my craft show. I'm like, oh, I can take this. I can take that. I can always make myself a new one, right? <laughs> Anyone else that does craft shows does that? I just temporarily display my stuff in my house. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, you know what? Maybe I should tape that off so that I get a really nice, um, crisp little line right there. Let me see here. What day are you setting up, Sylvia? I know regular vendors usually set up on Sunday after a certain amount, at a certain time, but it is Father's Day. So I wondered if she was doing it different because of Father's Day. Um, I know for us, um, she's getting us in there because the larger booths, she has to work everybody around the larger booths. So um, that is that is just something that has to be done. <laughs> she has to work. She has to work everybody around us. So she wants us in there, get us get us at least set and started, and then we can come back usually the next day and finish up. Although I think I want to be painting, painting, painting that wow. Sunday, even though it's Father's Day. <laughs> I want to be painting a lot of stuff. Um, I am trying my hardest to have a good variety. And I usually only do one of each thing. And that, that's the thing that my customers know. My granddaughter's here. <laughs> my customers know that, hey, I better grab it because um, there's only going to be one. Let me put myself in the corner. I'm having one of those days that... <laughs> just one of those days where I'm forgetting these things. There we go. There we go. So, okay, the hair. So that was light buttermilk. So we got our light buttermilk done. That can start drying before we do our, well, we are going to do, we're going to use our midnight on the dress. It's going to be so cute. And then we're going to do our saucy on here. Let's, let's do the face. Let's do, um, let's do warm beige so we can get these two things done so that it's dry for this part. Yeah. You don't know yet. Um, oh, you haven't done it in a while. Okay. Probably on Sunday. Um, hi Linda, got, um, from the hospital. 
Yes, we kept you overnight. Don't know. Oh gosh. Um, I hope that I hope everything's going well for you. I know um we have been praying for you. Hope that hope that things went well. It's always hard, isn't it? Gosh, I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching from the hospital. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm glad that we're we can be here for you. We will we will continue to say prayers that you'll go home soon. Okay, so this is warm beige. Warm beige is the color that I like to use for the face. Um, everybody has different skin tones. Use whichever color you want. Whichever, you know, it suits you. Um, this is just my go-to. This is not my skin color. My skin color is darker. <laughs> but this is my skin color that my go-to for all of my little little dolls and my more ornaments when I do angels and all of that. My warm beige is my go-to. So I, it's just easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see if I if I missed anything I'm just keep checking because I cannot see uh, usually I can see right here on my iPad but switcher studios wasn't wanting to connect this morning and then now it doesn't want to give me um, any of my comments that's okay we can work around that that's why I have my phone next to me you know sometimes people are like oh I can't see comments um, but I have my work around. I just have to tap on my phone screen to see my comments each time. <laughs> it's all right. So if you have questions, just let me know. This is, um, this was Marigold, I think. Yeah, Marigold. I have, I really haven't used this color much. I think it's a newer color. Sometimes yellows, you have to do two coats. Um, they are not really solid when it's a yellow, yellow. We'll see how this one dries. <laughs> we are going to ink everything. So let's see. Okay. Um, oh, yellow for, no, we're going to do, you know what, guys? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to use the same yellow to do the star. I think that I like this yellow. Once I got it out of the jar, um, I like that yellow. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to dry this right here so we can do the dress. And then these two are saucy. We could do saucy first and then um then the dress so i'm just going to dip my paintbrush right in here um my my chalk paste is new it's nice and creamy if your chalk paste is older you're going to need to thin it down a little bit and we are going to paint our stripes with this but um it's going on nice and smooth so this is saucy from you could if you don't have saucy you can just use paint um i would just use a red like a country red or santa red or or whatever red you have. Um, or if you wanna use chalk paste, you can use candy apple red. I just wanna do this. I wanna use our chalk paste and see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be cute. We're gonna put little polka dots on her little bow. So let me see here. Um, Karen, could you use some prayers to remain calm? Getting swamped with appointments for, for pre-surgery the next two weeks are crazy. Oh, Karen, I'm so sorry. It is hard. It's hard with all that. Yes, we will pray for you, sweetheart. Um, oh, Deb, have a great day at the market. You are going to do fabulous. I just know it. You always have so many cute things. Thanks for prayers for everybody. Um, you guys are the best. You are the best. Hi, Christina. How are you? I can see you watching. Hi, Lori. I can just see people watching. <laughs> Good morning. And Laura. Hello. All right. So this is saucy. I, I don't think I'm going to need, Hey, what are you doing in here? Yeah. You leave her alone. You could chew, quit chewing on her outfit. <laughs> here, let me see. Come here. I know. Leave your sissy alone. <laughs> her little outfit, her little outfit is like hanging. Miss Chloe, how did you get your outfit off here? Let's just kind of fix it for you. <laughs> She's wearing an outfit because Marley was, Marley was um, looking at her belly and I'm like, no, no, no. Oh gosh, this Velcro is so strong. How did you, how did you get your legs out of that? I'm just going to wrap it around her. Don't put your nose on that. <laughs> You'll have a little red nose, Missy. Okay. All right, you guys. Marley, leave your sister alone. <laughs> Marley, hey, 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 little stinker. Hey, little stinker. Leave your sister alone. <laughs> They are just always in trouble. They're always in trouble. And this Stubby, Stubby is just the little gentleman. He's just probably out there just minding his own business. I'm just going to go over this one more time. 
and then we will dry this and we'll do saucy i'm mean, sorry we'll do saucy on the stripes and we'll do our midnight on the dress okay so let me dry 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 and we'll peel up that that tape can you see uh, what were you gonna what were we gonna see i'm sorry <laughs> oh dear. oh i'm sorry she went out already <laughs> Aww. she's so she's so funny they're hilarious they just they just make me laugh all day long they were doing so many zoomies yesterday oh my gosh i was like really really and then somebody peed on the floor and they were doing zoomies through the pee and i was like no 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 why 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 do i have to put up with this <laughs> okay it's looking like i need a second coat on on saucy so that's okay it just oh and there goes my transfer let me put my transfer up here <laughs> all right okay so miss chloe she is so hilarious she's a, she's a funny one Okay, so now I'm gonna put my, my blue painter's tape right here to protect this. I'll just have to be really careful up there at the top. <laughs> I'll be really careful. I'm gonna stand up so that I can get, this is midnight. Let me try to get it in just a little bit smaller so that you can see everything. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna be really careful right here. But, oh, guess what, guys? I don't have to be careful because there is a little collar that goes over that. So I'm just going to go, I won't go right up next to the, next to the face. I'm going to leave just a little gap. The collar, this little collar piece goes there. Ooh, this looks like it's going to cover really well. So this is really solid. I'm going to tell you something. When um, I was washing out my brush, my hands dyed blue like a Smurf. <laughs> so some, some of your chalk paste is going to have um, a lot of pigments. This is one of them. So be careful when you're when you're washing out your brushes or washing your squeegees with this color <laughs> my hand my hands were blue for a day wasn't it wasn't a big deal oh i have somebody down where are you gonna go you gonna hide in that corner okay she just went underneath my little table chloe did and she's hiding back in this corner from marley <laughs> but this is a good color look at that that is a great color for her dress um, I like that. I had not used my midnight yet. Okay, we'll we'll dry it. We'll after we do a second coat on our saucy. See how saucy is? I'll show you why I need a second coat. Um, it is kind of see through, so we'll do a second coat. That is really good. Um, once it dries, we'll know if we need a second coat on this. We'll do our stripes. Our stripes probably will be okay because we have a base coat under it. So let me just grab my brush for saucy. And we're going to we're going to chalk our um, we're going to chalk our stars with our midnight. Our stars are going to be chalked onto our wings, so we'll use our transfer for that. I love being able to use our chalk paste like this. So um, some of you may not have done that yet. I don't paint a lot with my chalk paste, just certain colors because I chalk paste is more expensive than buying a jar of of. A dollar forty nine paint, <laughs> but if you have the right colors and you really want those colors, then that's what you have to do. Okay, let's try this and see what we have. See if we need another coat. I don't think so. I think we're gonna be okay. We need polka dots on that little bow. The dress is just gonna be plain like this. The dress, I don't need anything else. It looks like it's drying really good. I will. I'm gonna go over it really quickly with a second coat though. There's some areas that are kind of um, see-through. So I'm just going to take my brush and go over it again. Yeah, this is looking good. All right. Yay. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I, I love being able to come on here. I know it's a weird time. I know that most of my people watch the replays because I come on so early. Um, we, have, we have talks about doing... Um, other things like later on, like as soon as my daughter-in-law leaves at two o'clock in the afternoon, me doing another project because that would make it um, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. So that would be an option too for other people that don't get up this early. Because <laughs> even though it's 6.30 a.m. my time, that's 7.30, 8.30, 9.30 across the time zone, some people don't even get up then. Right, some people some people are late risers, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. 
or they're at work. <laughs> so, so we have talked about me doing a second one and doing just cut out things then and doing all chalk a tour in the morning. We're trying to figure out what to do, you know, trying to make some good changes for you guys. I, I don't have a ton of chalk a tour transfers I haven't used. I don't always like reusing the same ones over and over and over because it gets boring. So, but I do have some, some chalk a tour projects coming up. I'm just trying to prep for my craft show. So trying to get these things done. Okay, let me dry this. We have to chalk our, our stars. We have to do polka dots and we have to do stripes. So we just have some detail work left and then we can assemble this little girl. We will be, we will be inking the edges. All right. That looks good. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my sheet and I will um, just bring back the things that I need to do detail on. Let me peel this up so I can do my stripes. And I'm gonna peel her off. That looks really good. That is a great color. That's a really good color. And then I need polka dots on this. And then I need, um, I'm making sure there's nothing on the back. <laughs> How many times have I done that? Stuck it on there and had, had paint on the back side. Okay, so I need to move this whole thing. I can move my, my little thing here. We do need to do cheekies and we need to do eyeballs. And if you want to do a smile, you can. Okay, so let's do our stars really quick. We'll do polka dots and we'll do stripes. Okay, so stars are going to be with our midnight. I'm going to just... You know what? I always, I always regret this, but I'm going to fuzz this on my shirt. <laughs> I regret it because there's inevitably dog hair. <laughs> and, the, and there's people hair. Oh, yeah. There's people hair. Darlene's hair right there. Right there is a piece. Okay. Let me see. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look for comments. Sorry. Um, let's see if there... Oh, thank you. I love the color, too. The uh, black dyes your nails, yes. Um, you could see a bit. You thought you. Oh yeah, it probably was. It w definitely was the blue. It wasn't from. Was not a bruise. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do these stars. Like I said, they're they're really big for this. Um, there's not a lot of the stars that actually are gonna show. Let's kind of look at that really quick. Let me just put it behind her, and you can see what's gonna show. So I really want to get some stars right here. Um, if I had a smaller transfer, I would use a smaller transfer, but I don't. So, so you don't, you just don't have to do the whole, whole thing. Like doing the whole thing is kind of a waste. I want to make sure that I have some stars that are right here strategically. And then I'll do it. Same thing on the other side and grab a squeegee, darling. That would work. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a squeegee and I'm going to um, apply it like that. I don't have my little stir stick. It's down somewhere. So the side stars in midnight. Yeah, if you have a smaller smaller star transfer, you can use that. We have we have a lot of transfers. What are you doing? Hey, don't you pull stuff out of there, Marley? She is such a scamp. <laughs> she is a scamp. Okay, there's that side. Let's kind of move this out of the way. And we will do, we'll kind of do about the same thing over here. I'm just kind of turning it so that part of it's on there. Don't know how much, <clears throat> how much of that's going to show, but it will be fine. So you don't need a lot. It's just there for the looks. Um, it's, you don't have to have it, the whole thing. Get out of that box. You're going to get a spanking. You want to get spanking right here? Huh? You want a whipping? <laughs> oh my gosh. She is hilarious though. She just, she'll grab stuff and take off with it. I am forever pulling little pieces of wood scrap out of her mouth. Okay, there's that. There's my stars. Okay, um, let me find the backer. Where did I put it? There's my backer. These are reusable. Just use them over and over and I'll try not to lose this one. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Um, land that I love. Yes. Okay. So, um, the transfer, yes, the transfer is from land that I love. Let me pull out the rest of it. I had to open a new one because I could not, 
find, I couldn't find my stars. <laughs> oh, my stars, I couldn't find my stars. So it's from that one, it's from that one. Um, if you have smaller stars, that would work. Darlene just, I just didn't have time to look. I had already, I had already taken up enough time. Okay, I do want cheekies. I do want my stripes on my, on my sockies. Let's do cheekies first. Let me move that. See, look it, look. I'm gonna grab a color it's white because that will stain right there on my table. <laughs> this blue will stain. Yep. All right, and a paper towel. I am going to try to speckle this, okay? So um, before I put the bow and all of that stuff on. Okay, let's do cheekies first. I'm gonna use cactus flower. That is kind of not the color I want. Let me see if I have a different one. Um, oh, this might work. Terra coral, that might be a better color. Terra coral, there's hardly anything in that. Do I have enough? <laughs> and I have a little, I have a little dauber thing that's round. These are just from the, the um, stencil area. So, oh, pr prayers for your granddaughter. Oh, Karen. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, that should be enough. And then we'll do black eyes. So we'll do little dots for the black eyes. And we're going to do stripes at the bottom. We're going to do white polka dots. But we'll just use light buttermilk on this. We don't have to have white, white. So I'm just going to get all my stuff out. <laughs> get it ready. I think that's enough coral. I'm going to grab a little paper towel. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your little round, round dauber thing. There's lots of different um, of, of these daubers. Okay. So different brands. This one I, is just what I happen to have in my drawer right now. So I didn't have to go in the other room. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it on my little paper towel. I want to get off as much as I can. And then I'm going to go where my cheekies. I'm looking at the cheat sheet. My cheekies should be about right here. And then I'm just going to turn it. And I'm going to do that a couple of times till I get a nice round cheek. Okay, so I'm just twisting with my fingers to turn in a in a circular motion to get the cheekies, okay? And this one looks smaller. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes sterling, I just don't know. Okay, and then you're gonna grab something for the eyeballs. So we want the eyeballs to be fairly big, maybe this size. And I'm just gonna dip that in there. And then I'm gonna give her two eyeballs. One, two. Okay, and I'm going to kind of dry that right now because I will touch that. I just know it. I just know it because I know me. <laughs> I know how I am. So if you have questions, let me know. I will add this to the, to the Shopify and Etsy stores so that both are on there. Let me dry that also. So those eyeballs are going to take a little bit to dry. We know that. It doesn't dry right away, even though you think that it would. It just doesn't. It takes a little bit. So we'll we'll come back and we'll dry it again. You don't want it to bubble up, so don't hold your heat gun there. Okay, you need polka dots. Polka dots, we're going to grab a larger stylus. Um, the, there's a teeny tiny one. We're going to use our light buttermilk, and let's just do let's just do some polka dots here and there. So I'm just dip, dip, dip dot 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 <laughs> basically just that it's not even a pattern at all it's just random on here so that you can have some polka dots on her little bow and then we'll dry this a little bit we'll dry it a little bit there there's no definition you could use a marker if you want to make definition on here uh, we are going to ink things before we start assembling I love the ink look. My customers do too. So if you don't like the inked look on stuff, you don't have to do that. You definitely can just um, do it just plain. Okay. You don't have to do everything that I do. I promise. <laughs> Reminds me of Raggedy Ann. Yes. Yes. It's very similar to that. Um, the design is very similar to the Raggedy Ann one. Yeah. You could, you could paint this like a Raggedy Ann if you wanted to. You could do that for sure. Okay, let's kind of dry that, just kind of, sort of, and then I'm going to do the stripes on the, um, 
on the sockies. Okay, I'm gonna dry the eyeballs a little bit more. It all helps, right? I wanna put a highlight on the cheeks. So I'll put a highlight with this. I'll use the same little dot and I'll just dip it in here. I'll put a highlight at the top of each cheeky. I usually do the eyeballs, but they're not dry yet. They're still really, they're still really damp. Um, okay, then take a brush. We're gonna paint our stripes on our socks. Now, don't worry, don't stress if it doesn't work out that they're perfect. Okay, and I was just kind of counting to see where to where to start. I'm gonna do, um, I, I think it'll look better to have white next to the blue um, dress. So I just have a little angle brush and I'm just gonna paint my stripes with my Saucy. I love this color. <laughs> I, I, I kept a couple of jars back for myself. I've given a lot of them um, as gifts and th then they will just be gone. <laughs> I don't have any for sale. I have one set aside for someone, um, but as far as um, for sale at my craft show, I will not have Saucy for sale at my craft show. I'll have other colors. I'll probably have Midnight there. Um, Saucy was one that people wanted it. So many people wanted Saucy. So um, that was that was my one of my fun gifts for a lot of people. Just surprises. Happy Mail. <laughs> we did so much Happy Mail last month, and then still doing Happy Mail. Still, just randomly, you're gonna people are going to find stuff, and they'll go, "I didn't order this." Nope, you didn't. It's your, it's just for you. <laughs> Isn't this cute? I love the stripes, so so you could totally turn this into a Raggedy Ann if you wanted to. I, I just um, wanted it to be a little patriotic angel. So, getting all my stripes done. How's everybody doing? Halfway through the week? What's going on on your schedules? Um, anyone anyone have things going on? I have, to, I have to get back on schedule. Oops, I didn't go all the way to the top on that one. Let me try that again. Um, I have to get a new mammogram schedule because I can't believe I missed mine. I have never done that. I have never not gone to my mammogram appointment because I know how important it is to not miss it. I have I have several friends right now that um, are fighting breast cancer. I have one that it's the type of cancer that it's, it's the one that doesn't really go away. She just has to um, she has to take the medicine for the rest of her life. Is that meta? I think it's metastatic. Um, so yeah, it's just in her body and right now it's at bay, but, um, it will, it's just a struggle the rest of her life basically. So I know how important it is to do those things. Um, I have never missed an appointment like that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just was exhausted. You know, uh, everything with my, with my mom's funeral, um, going on, going to Idaho, missing missing work, trying to catch back up, trying to get ready for craft show, trying to get ready for my my chalk um, retreat. <laughs> I'm excited for all these things coming up, um, but boy, it sure is exhausting. It sure is. It sure is exhausting. So, um, and that's I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> going to blame it on that. I did get good news about my truck. My truck is in the paint shop. The paint paint part has started. So that was a good thing. The the little side step, you, um, is that what it's called? The side step that you step up into your vehicle with? That um, they had to order. And that was actually damaged from the accident. And um, so at least my truck is in progress. I do have to get a rental car. Probably have to work on that today. Um, I always hate that stuff. I always hate dealing with insurance companies and, and their runaround but um, I was told that I need to go back to the original company and they need to give me a rental to use. I'm going to need a rental to go down to the beach house um, and, and be able to drive people around. So I decided that I'm just going to use Hubby's truck to tow the trailer. We're not going to, we're not going to deal with having to get a rental truck because, and have to tow it with somebody else's vehicle that I'm not used to. Okay, we're almost done. So I got to work on that. I've got a lot on my plate. <laughs> a lot which is which is fine you know I mean life is busy for all of us all of us okay how's that that looks cute super cute 
Um, oh, you're three years breast cancer survivor. Yes, that's awesome, Sylvia. See, I that's exactly why. Because of my friends that have gone through this. And, and you know what? Inevitably, they find um, something that I have to go back. I, I have to... I should cut back on caffeine because I always have, like, little mysterious cysts. <laughs> so I have to go in for this sonogram after. It always happens. I don't panic. When they call and tell me, oh, we found something. We need to investigate. I don't panic. It doesn't stress me out because until you know what it is, you really shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry yourself to death. So, yeah. That's, that's awesome, Sylvia. No, I... That's exactly why, because I have so many friends that have gone through it. Darlene knows better. I know better. <laughs> okay, let's let's get this inked and glued together, and then we can speckle it. She's going to be so cute. This little girly is going to be so darn cute. Do not let me put the bow and stuff on until I have speckled it, though. <laughs> okay, pulling all my pieces over here. I'm going to move my... Oh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Poor Chloe. Chloe's like, help, get me out of here. Um, my little basket, my little basket with my squeegees, just, it just jumped off the table again. How many times am I going to do that? I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably continue to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. Come here. Come here, baby. You want out? Come here. Come here. She's like, let me out of there. Come out this way. Can you get out? <laughs> it scared her. Come on. Come on, here, here, go past the hot venti gun. Come on, baby girl, this way, this way. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she doesn't like loud noises. So um, when that fell, she's like, ah. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get this inked. Um, let me see. Okay, you're you're doing a craft workshop on Saturday. Oh, fun. Um, and so that yours is found on a routine mammogram. That's awesome. Um, that is, see, that's why people should do these things. That's why I encourage people to get the big squeeze. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, let's ink our edges. I love using the ink pad for this. It just works out perfectly. And we are going to speckle with our toothbrush. I have one of them here. I hope I have another toothbrush here somewhere. If not, we'll just wash that one. We'll do the white first. Um, yeah. <laughs> Never know. It, there's probably one in my drawer, but I see one sitting here. I just go along the edges really quick, like that. Yeah, I have my friend who decided to have a double mastectomy and not have the reconstruction because she didn't want to deal with it. Because that way, if they took all of the breast um, tissue, then there wasn't a chance that she would um, continue to have cancer in that and she has a type that she's the type that she has to continue to take the medication for her probably life um but it was better her chances of survival were higher to not to not leave anything at all in there which i i just commend her for for taking that step i'm you know i'm going to do a little bit of line work on this bow i'm not i'm not loving the bow with nothing with no line work i'm going to make a little definition on that after i get all of my stuff inked and I feel like this, this little girl, whoopsie, should be holding a USA sign. <laughs> but I think the star, the heart and the star are really sweet. It's, it's Americana. So this could be up year round. I, I, lo I love stuff like that. I absolutely love it. Going to stand up. I'm going to ink my edges on the, on the blue, even though it's not really going to show. I'm going to do my sake. is going to try to get in the center there a little bit. Remember, you can wash this off. If you get too much and you go, oh my goodness, I, I really did too much. Just take your your um, Clark's wipe and it will come right off. Okay, I'm going to do my face. There is a, a collar. So the collar will be there. Here's our wings. I'm going to do all of the wings, even though some of it doesn't show. I'm just going to just gonna do it. Just get her done. Just get her done, guys. If you want to do line work all the way around it, you could do line dot, line dot, line dot, dot, you know, um, definitely do that. What I'm going to do with my marker on my bow is I'm just going to, I'm just going to make a definition where the bow part. Okay. So that, and then here, the center part, and then 
where that goes right there. Okay, that looks better to me. <laughs> okay, if you want to give your angel, your little angel girl a smile, you can do that. Let's figure this out. Let's put her together and kind of dry fit everything, and then we'll start gluing. That just goes right there. Just goes right above the the um, above the wings, and then this goes right here like this, and then. You're going to put the bow kind of to the side, and there's her little bangs, right like that. Now you probably could go a little bit lower on those eyeballs and everything. We're just going to scooch this up a little bit. Just let's go like that. She has her collar. It's a little bit hot in here today. <laughs> I have spacers here somewhere. What do I do with them? Anybody see them? Oh my goodness, where did my spacers go? Um, do you guys see them on my table? My little spacers are missing in action. <laughs> they probably fell when my, when my thing fell. Okay. I am looking for them. Oh, there they are. They're underneath my paper towel over here. <laughs> you guys wouldn't see them. Um, I think she's super sweet. I love this. I think it, I think it's really fun. We're going to put a little bow on it, but we are going to speckle Okay, so that's her. She's fairly big, guys. So she is probably about, let's use a sheet of paper. Here's her sheet of paper. <laughs> okay, so that's 11 inches. Or we could do it this way, eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches. Okay, so she's about, she's about 17 inches tall. Okay, let's glue her together. My glue fell also. Where's my glue? <laughs> <laughs> here's my small jar yeah I, I have squeegees all over my floor it is not the first time it's not going to be the last time <laughs> hi Diane how are you if you guys are not a designer I would love if you would sprinkle okay she's going to have a little um red poke uh plaid gingham um bow and she's going to have a little jute bow on the star but those come later and then wire at the top Okay, we do want to glue her together. We do want to speckle her. So let me do this. I'm looking for another, another toothbrush. My toothbrushes are probably out in the other room. Oh, there's one, there's one. Saved by the bell. <laughs> okay, let's start gluing. Let's start gluing. I am gonna use hot glue on the back pieces. So let's do that. Let's do our, let's do our glue and our hot glue. And then we'll just put that right back down on there. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. Okay. And hopefully I can get that in the right place. Oh, I'm going to need a, another glue stick probably. Let me grab another glue stick. <laughs> They're just right here in my little basket because Sue put them really close for me. I'm probably going to need another one and my board is on that. It's it's a hot mess Monday. <laughs> it is definitely a hot mess Monday for me. Okay, let me do this. There's my hot glue. Hot glue. <sighs> hot glue. Okay, so I'm hoping that that will all work out. Let's hurry and put this on here exactly how we had it. Right like that, I think. Um, okay. All right. I think that's where I want it. If her, if her wings are crooked, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> Mine probably are too. <laughs> how about you guys? You got, some, you got your wings a little crooked nowadays. I'll tell you. Okay, so I'm just pressing down. Don't press on the eyeballs. I'm just pressing that right into that hot glue to glue that in there. We're going to put her hair on. Um, you might want to just move that down a little bit. you got to make sure that the hair is not going to be right down in her eyeballs. You do turn this to the side um, to the point where the, the hair is right there. Let's put, let's put the hair on there. Isn't she just sweet? I think she is just adorable. I love stuff like this. Um, it takes me back to the days <laughs> that we did we did so much of this. Sylvia knows. If you if you've been a crafter for a while, um, everything comes back around circle. 
it does. So if you, if you made these 20, 30 years ago, they're back. They're back. Same type of design. So just going to fit that right in there. Okay, just kind of wiggle a little bit. Okay, and then her collar. And we'll put, after we speckle this, we will put the little bow on there. I'm going to have to move things to speckle. <laughs> There's a lot on this table. There is a lot. Okay, so our heart goes in the center. Okay. And then the star goes in the center of that. So, well, we used to we used to drill holes in the stars and we'd thread the the jute through. I don't worry about that now. We would tie it like it was a, a little button. I actually don't honestly worry about that. <laughs> It doesn't stress me out. I'm thinking that that needs to be up like that. I don't know that there's a right and a wrong way for these hands. I just feel like it kind of looks better with it up with the bigger side up a little bit. And there we go. Okay. Isn't she cute? She is so darn cute. I love this little girl. Um, I'm going to put paper down. We're going to speckle. I know. I know. <laughs> All righty. I'm hoping things don't move around when I'm speckling. <laughs> but let me move this really quick. Let's get our paper down. Because we have to we want to protect our area. <laughs> yeah, I ha I have little bits and pieces here. I keep pulling things off, so I'll be like, okay, I just need a piece of paper towel and I'll grab it. And it's part of my thing to speckle with. <laughs> Alright, and I have I have my roll of paper towels. So I can protect all this little area here. We don't want to be speckling things that we don't want to speckle. And then we'll just use these. I, I don't ever let any paper towels go to waste. They're always used. Let's bring our little girl back. So we're going to speckle with black and white, but we're actually going to use our, um, our light buttermilk. If you have questions about this, let me know. I will be adding this to the Etsy store. I think she's super sweet, <laughs> you guys, and she wasn't hard, okay? And if you don't want to put um, stars on there, you, you actually could do this for every day. It doesn't have to be Americana. It can be every day. You can do any color you want. You could put flowers in her hand. <laughs> okay, I have a paper towel for my for my fingers. Okay, so you're going to do this. You're going to dip your your paintbrush into the or your toothbrush into the water then dip it into your paint then I dip it back in the water and onto the paper towel and then you're going to pull your finger back and you're going to start speckling see all that see all that goodness that is what we do it kind of makes it look oldish and you don't want to do too much so I'm going to do black now do black next and then sometimes I go back and I'll add a little more white. Wipe your finger off. So that, that's how you speckle if you're new on here. Um, just use an old toothbrush. This one's really old. This one's, look at all the colors on that. <laughs> dip it in the water. Dip it on your paper towel. Dip it in your paint. Dip it on your paper towel. Get a little bit more water. Tap, tap, tap. And then just pull your finger back on that. And you have your little dots. So be careful that you don't over speckle. I think we did that last week on something. <laughs> we might have done that. I might be guilty of doing that. Okay, and then I'm going to add just a little more white in there. I usually will go back and add just a little bit of white on top of that to brighten it up just a little bit more. And then I think we're done. We'll dry it really quickly. Perfect. I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I'm not even going to put the little white dot in the eyeball. I think we're good with that. Let me move this stuff. I'm going to move this. I usually will just dab that water, get that out of there. I know. Isn't she cute? I think she. I think she's really cute. I love the com combination. I love the Midnight and my Saucy. I think those turned out perfect. Going to get those paper towels out of the way one of these days. Like I said, I am going to get a sheet of poster board. To use one of these days but we we always had um speckle boxes <laughs> is that funny a box that we would just speckle and we still have it we still have the original from doing 
our ornaments. We still use it occasionally, pull it out. It's just a little box that has size that we put things in to speckle. And we would do like 20 ornaments at a time or however many would fit in there. Dry, dry, dry. It doesn't take long for the speckling to dry. Okay, so now we need to get some scissors out because I'm going to be cutting my bow. And, okay, so scissors. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hi, Robin. How are you? If you're watching and you're not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. And sprinkle is S-H-A-R-E. If you don't want to put a bow there, you, you don't have to. You could put a piece of jute. You could put a little... Um, button. I'm going to just tie a bow just like you tie your shoes. Okay, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to just kind of work it. Okay, so get your bow and then work your little sides to get it down to a smaller size. Just kind of work it back and forth and pull those tails and just get it to the right size. I am always going to give you more than you need so that it's easy to tie. And then I think that this one, I'm just going to cut it at an angle instead of doing my dovetails. If you want a dovetail, that's absolutely fine. Okay, that's gonna go right there. What do you think? I think that's super cute. Okay, and then um, we're gonna have our little thing here. Oh, I hope I have my wire cutters, do I? <laughs> there they are. Okay, saved by the bell. I do have my wire cutters here and my little um, needle nose pliers. Thank you guys. If you love it, give me some hearts. Facebook loves when when um, you give people hearts. <laughs> Facebook loves hearts. They know that, and they know, hey, somebody likes this. Okay, I'm just tying a little boat. What are you eating over there? Hello. <laughs> Hello, puppies. Oh, they, they're just always into stuff. I don't put stuff on the floor that they shouldn't have, but still, they get into things. What do you have? Hey, come here, come here, come here. What do you have? What are you doing, Marley? <laughs> She's hilarious. Okay, that's going to go right there. I kind of want the tails to be kind of long. And I actually am thinking that I want thicker. Let me see. Do I want it to be thicker than that? No. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it just thin. Okay, so then I'm going to hot glue those on. What are you doing, baby? Hi. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are hilarious. Let me say, we can say hi. You can say hi, say hi right there. Say hi, peoples. Hi, peoples. Say, I'm I'm Marley and I'm spoiled. I'm Marley and I'm spoiled and I'm a cutie pie. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? Look at her. She needs a haircut so bad. I just, I my priorities were to get Stubby his haircut because he was super shaggy. And <laughs> thank you for the kiss. You're so funny. You are hilarious. Okay, let me put her down. <laughs> you behave. You behave. All right, let's finish our little girl. <laughs> let's finish this. I'll just I'll just keep myself out of the corner. Okay, hot glue. Hot glue. Come here. <laughs> it's stuck on my board. Okay, I have to pick up all those squeegees that I dumped on the floor. Okay, I'm going to hot glue on the back of this. And then I'm just going to press it down. Be careful. Don't don't get your finger on there. Um, don't get glue on your finger. That really hurts. I just need a tiny, tiny touch right there. Okay. And I'm going to put that there. Take Grab a squeegee that's on the floor. Use your squeegee to press those down. Okay. Um, your squeegee will save your fingers. And when that glue gets on your squeegee, it just rubs right off. Okay. So that's, that's a little trick that I've used is my squeegee is my friend. I'm going to unplug my glue gun. It's time to unplug the glue gun. I'm not putting any bow or anything on the wire. If you wanted to, you could. I am I am going to do something pretty simple. Um, I'm giving you a lot of wire. And we're just going to kind of make this um, curvy. Okay, so that you have that much wire. That's a lot. Okay, we're just going to kind of make it a little bit curvy. I'm going to just kind of kind of use my fingers and go here and there and make it a little bit. I'm not doing a lot of curves, okay? I'm just putting it around my finger a little bit here, one, around one finger, around two fingers to just kind of make this be a little bit 
different. Okay, so does that make sense? <laughs> if you want to just do it completely round, um, so it just goes from the top down, you can. Um, but there we go. That's just gonna that's just gonna be up at the top. So that way it's not completely straight. And let me just do one more. If you want to do them tighter, you can. Just you can keep working with it. Okay. So if you're not happy with the way it is, just redo it. Um, it is bendable. You're gonna get your fingers all dirty. I promise. I promise. The one thing I'll promise you with wire is that you're gonna get dirty because they put they put the black stuff on it to keep it from rusting, and it has oil on it. Okay. So let me feel the eyeballs. Eyeballs are pretty pretty solid. You're gonna put this from the back. Okay. So. And it's, it's good to have little needle nose pliers to do this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one side first, and then we'll do the other. So you're going to, whoops, guys, did you see that? It tried to go into my jar. You're going to bend that up. It tried to go into the, the jar of midnight. Okay, and then you're going to squeeze it. You're going to squeeze it with your, um, with your needle nose pliers to hold that, and then wrap that piece around a couple of times okay you'll you'll put it towards the back so see how see how it's towards the back and then you're going to cut that with your pliers your um wire cutters your snippers your whatever you want to call them okay so cut it like that i always cut it towards the back and then a lot of times i'll just squeeze that so that it just kind of goes like that. Okay, and then just form this. This is your hanger. This is how she's gonna hang. If you want it, like I said, if you just want it to be straight instead of bent like this, you can do that. Okay, I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of character. And I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit so you can stretch it and mold it. And now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in the other side and then bend that up. And then I'm gonna grab that with my wire, or with my um, needle nose pliers. Okay, so I'm gonna grab it and hold it with my needle nose pliers. This is thick wire. I'm gonna wrap that around a couple of times until it stops at the back. If you wanna flip it over to cut it easily and just cut right there as close as you can. And then grab your, grab your needle nose pliers and then just squeeze that. Okay, so that's your hanger. That's how it's gonna hang. If you wanna add a little bow to that, you can. You can reshape this any way that you want to. Kind of stretch it and pull it and make it however you want. I just wanted it to not be completely like a half circle. <laughs> I wanted it to be different. I think she is so adorable, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with her. I think she turned out good. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Hi, Nancy, how are you? Thank you. Okay, let me let me put you up to myself. I think she turned out so sweet. Ah, and I love I love the color midnight on there. It's perfect and doing the stars the same color. And then saucy was our red. Okay, other colors were we used marigold for the hair in the star. We used light buttermilk for the the whiter part, then black and then for the for the face and the hands we use warm beige and we used um, terra coral for the cheekies yeah i think she's super cute she'll just hang right here with this with this part let me go out a little bit she'll hang she'll hang from this part just like that she'll hang and what i usually do once i get her on something i will kind of i'll kind of make that part be be flat or up so that it hangs even okay so you can just kind of pull her and mold her so that she hangs even super cute how fun is that that was really a fun one thank you for being here <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go let me just put my stuff in further wrong way darlene there's the front whole front of my thing <laughs> Okay, I love the sunflower stuff. We did the sunflower leaning ladder and the little gnome yesterday. So that whole thing will be coming in here at some point. I'll probably keep the sunflower stuff here. I'm kind of fond of it. So um, we'll be doing a sunflower sign behind us to match that. We'll start some fall stuff. Um, we're gonna do a sunflower. We're gonna do a sunflower birdhouse. Yeah, remember our little birdhouse that is patriotic? This is going to my craft show. So this is gonna go to my craft show. Um, yeah, it is. We, I still have, I still have like 20 of 
these chocolate tour ones. So we'll do a little sunflower one for you guys. And then I, I probably will just move the Christmas tree. <laughs> There's a Christmas tree right there. I'll probably move it because I really don't have anything. Hey, excuse me. Hello. You don't need to chew on my little squeegees. You can get out of here now. Come on. <laughs> Marley's being a stinker. Marley's under there grabbing squeegees. All right. They have chewed them up before, like little teeth marks. I go to grab one and there's teeth marks in it. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. I hope that today is a good one for you. Um, oh, where are you going? Underneath the table. <laughs> it's always good for me. <laughs> they, they make me laugh all day long. They're so crazy. Let me see if there's questions. I'll go add this to the Etsy store and to, thank you, Birdhouse. Yeah, Birdhouse is going to be great. It's Wellness Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take care, everybody. Yes, exactly. Take care of yourself. All right, love you guys so much. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>